in your fabulous AP computer science we, course. We are, we are going to clarify two simple rules, rules for taking derivatives that we did in class. And the first one is how do you find the derivative of an exponential function? How do you find the derivative well, of an exponential function? Well, thank you for asking me, function. Ms. Stewart. This is really great. This, of course, is an exponential function, and how do I recognize it as an exponential function? Well, your independent variable, in this case your x, is part of the exponent. Yes, I have x in the exponent. It is exponential. So let's take the derivative, shall we? Let's. Without, without uh, any further delay. So it's, I think of it as three parts. I don't know if you think of it. That I way. do too. Really? At le well, at least three. Well, Sometimes okay. more, depending on yeah. well, your right, chain you activity. But I think of it as natural log of the base. In this case, the base is three. So that is ln of the base. That's the first part. Very nice. Times the original function, which is, of course, the entire thing. Notice I'm not taking the derivative here. I have just copied the entire original thing. Now, what could be easier than that? Nothing. ln of the base times the original thing, and now I'm up to the chain rule part, Right. the derivative of the inside. Now, I, maybe you don't think of this as the inside, but in fact it is. This, is. this is my inside piece. So this is really the chain rule, and of course the derivative of this, now I'm just going to use the power rule, is such times 5 is 10x minus 2. So those are my three pieces there. Fantastic. Ln of the base, the original thing, and the derivative of the inside. Of course, I'm just multiplying. All Let's look together. at a natural log function, right? This thing would look kind of like this, right? Am I doing that? No. Yes. You're an interpretive dance of yes, natural log functions. interpretive dance of a natural That's log great. function. I want to take its derivative. So here we go. It's very similar to what you were doing there, but if you remember the little shortcut, when you take the derivative of a natural log function, it's 1 over the thing that you're taking the natural log of. Again, how easy is that? But of course the chain rule kicks in times the derivative of the inside. This is your inside of your function. So times the derivative of that, which would be 3x squared. And again, I'll often ask you to simplify this. Any ideas for simplifying this? I would class? just put that in the numerator. Yeah, absolutely. You can just make it one big happy fraction. And there you go. You know, of course, you're going to resist the temptation. You can't do any dividing there, even though it looks tempting. It just seems, these just seem like arbitrary rules, but you know, we, there, there are reasons why they work the way they do, and of course we went over them in class. So I mean, I kind you know of, what? these I, are just, we just kind of end, are ending up with, here's the shortcut, here's how you do it, but, you know, and I kind of hate to do that in some ways, but. We, we actually did prove for you why this must be the case right. in class, I mean, of course, as you remember. Prove it even with a limit definition of the derivative or with this one. I, I just can't help myself. Mr. You can't Ross. help it, can I, you? I just can't help it. You brought it up. <laughs> now so you're going to do the go. proof of why this must be the case? Yeah. All I right. mean, some people missed it in class, so we might as well do this, right? All right. So if you remember, there's a little invisible base there, which is e, right? I could rewrite this in its exponential form. So those are identical equations, right? I'm with you so far, all right. all right. So let's take the derivative of each side, shall we? And let's take the derivative with respect to x. So the derivative of e to the y, hey, we'll use your little exponential function trick. The natural log of the base times the exponent as it is, the exponential term times the derivative of the exponent. What's the derivative of y, Mr. Hodge? Well, that would just be y prime. Y prime. I'm going to write dy dx. It's so. fancy. All right. Yeah, yeah. Derivative of x? 1. 1. So now, if I want to solve for dy dx, which I do, because I want to find the derivative of that, natural log of e is just? 1. 1, because e raised to the 1 is e. I'm going to divide by e to the y. So that would be my derivative. Now, it's a little awkward describing my derivative in terms of y. So I just want to do one more substitution. So I'm describing my derivative in terms of x. Well, what the heck is e to the y the same as? Well, that equals x, Look as that. There stated it is right there. above. Right. So that's why the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. And there we go. It's magical, isn't it? It is magical. Yeah. I love math, don't you? It's good. 
I'm going to find the derivative of one more exponential function, if you don't mind, Ms. Stewart. All right. And, you know, this is, you, you often see exponential functions like this. I mean, this could represent the population increasing. This says uh, the population maybe at time zero is 2,000, and it's increasing by 2% 5x. That would mean like five times a year. Yeah. So that would be rapid. Increase. That would be rapid population. increase. Perhaps, I don't know what, what's, yeah. what population is. So let's find the derivative. So well, if you're finding the derivative, you're looking for the rate at which the right. population is growing. Right, I can now find the rate of change of population at any time. And rate of change Anything. meaning in like people per year, not percent. That's right. Interesting. That's exactly right. Okay. So, I, you know, sometimes students get mixed up, like, what should I do with this, with this coefficient here, with this extra thing? But sometimes they, they would think, because remember we talked about the three pieces, ln of the base, times the original, times the derivative. Well, this is not part of the base. That's right. That's just a coefficient. This is just a coefficient. It ends up getting multiplied times the derivative of this. This is the base. So it's going to be 2,000 ln of the base, the base, of course, 102, times the original function, which is 1.02 to the 5x, times the derivative of the exponent, which, of course, is just 5. Very nice. Now this, of course, I could simplify a little bit. I could multiply five times ten thousand and come to that. And call that ten thousand times 10, 000. the natural log of one point oh two times. But basically, this tells me the rate of change of this exponential function. Beautiful. Try to trail your last night, baby. Trail